All right, here we go again, guys. We got another Dutch defense, except this time we're strictly playing the Stonewall defense from the black perspective. I believe we should be uh, having the Fienkedel for the white, which is definitely a great way to play for white because, well, when black goes for the Stonewall, he's just going for kingside attack. So if you can just defend and, you know, parry off the attack, then white's just much better. And in these games, white usually goes queenside attacking. So um, black will be hard. White should be a lot easier. Let's see how it goes, guys. One hour to rule them all. Let's see here. Okay. Oh, yep. So we're starting from this position, but d5 has been played, so we're going to berserk here. I feel very comfortable in this one. Let's go knight to d2, and the standard ideas, idea we're going to do is b3. Later on, we will go uh, knight to e5 here. But um, I did this correctly. Okay, so knight e5. When they play knight to d7, we'll bring the knight back to d3. And so the idea here is to play pawn f3 to kick the knight. And bishop f4 here. Okay. So bishop f4. g5 is actually not a bad idea for them. They should probably do this move. Rook c1 will be good. Oh, interesting. White is playing very interestingly. Let's play h4 here. Knight takes d4 idea. Pawn takes here is decent. Okay, e3. We're trying to hold this up best we can. Mm-hmm. Knight takes d4 I like because it comes with the knight takes on e6. Okay, rook c1. We'll take here. Okay, perfect. And now go rook c1 here. And, yep, e5 square is ours. This is good. Um, let's go knight e5 here. I don't want to take because this does open up the bishop. Okay, perfect. Knight takes, bishop takes. And later on, we'll play pawn to f3 at the right time. Let's see if they play pawn c3 here. Pawn c3, I might go queen to d3 first. Okay. So rook takes and then queen takes here. And now, bishop takes e4 ideas. Let's go. Oh. They missed knight to d2 here. Okay. Now f3 can get played. Perfect. Oh, rook c7 check. Well, they might go queen uh, knight back to d6. Queen a3. So double attack on a7 and over here. Ooh. So they might have to trade queens here. Because queen takes check here, so I think checkmate over here. So I think they have to trade queens. Which I am not against. Queen takes. King f2. Let's defend the pawn. On e3. Rook c2. And we'll go bishop f4 if given the opportunity. Because I would prefer not to lose the bishop pair. And I, I would like to play e4 here. Okay, so rook e2. Okay, rook back. Ooh, good move, good move. Okay, so rook back. They're going to check. King back. And then bishop f4. Okay, bishop f4. Maybe g4. Yes, g4 I like. I like this move. g4, pawn takes. Okay, bishop h3. Doesn't really do anything, but I'm kind of looking for some moves to do. Ooh, this pawn's running. All right, here we go, guys. This is really bad. B2, I think, is just winning here. But I don't know what else to play here. Okay, so bishop takes, rook takes check. Rook here, rook here. But this is just winning. So check first. Dear Lord, how did I lose my first game? Rook B1. And they can actually take the bishop here, which... I guess technically was best, but there's no chances here. Oh, man. All right. Well, we're off to a loss. This is really interesting. I like the way that they uh, they played the black side of this. I will have to... I will have to try this idea out myself. Okay. So they played an idea. What was the idea again? The b6, bishop a6 idea. It's very interesting. Hmm. 
Okay. Next game. Let's go. Hopefully we get a lower rated opponent this time. <laughs> Let's see here. All right, here we go, here we go. Hey, how's it going? We've got the Stonewall Dutch this time. Definitely one of my favorites to play these days, at least, when you're playing against D4. And let's go G5, G4. Let's gain the king side space. Knight takes E5 is a good idea to win this bishop. Oh, pawn takes. This I definitely don't think was the best because now this pawn becomes weak. Pawn takes. That's an interesting move. Um, do we play pawn takes? I guess we play pawn takes here. So they're going to play knight there, but then we just have g4. Oh, so queen takes here. Yeah, now this pawn is weak. Bishop c5 most likely will be coming. And we should have a decent kingside attack now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Queen takes b2 is an idea. Let's go d4 here. I like this pass pawn. To take here might only help them out as far as their activity goes. So... Let's not try to help our opponents out, yeah? Pawn c5, perfect. Pass pawn. The knight's not really good right there. Ooh, b6. Now, knight d3, queen back, bishop b7 after e5. Okay. Oh, let's go e5 here and stop them from playing that all together. Bishop h3 is coming. Let's go bishop f6. Possibly queen takes here. Hmm, queen g7, g4. Yes. Not too bad here. Okay. Interesting way for them to play this. Yep. They're going to double up and try to trade off the pieces. So let's go bishop here, bishop here, and bishop back to e7. Most likely we'll just trade everything off. But I'm going to go a6, b5, and play bishop e7 so I can try to attack down the uh, b file. The bishop here can actually be a bad piece for them. So bishop here. Bishop d5 is interesting. But we need to trade off the rooks because um, they're just too powerful here. Yeah, this, this, it's okay to take now this way at least. And then... Ooh, I did miss that move, huh? Okay. Let's go a6. Rook back to f5 now, I assume. Okay, bishop f6, bishop takes, and I have bishop d7 here. So I think this bishop d5 was a blunderful move, a blunderful move. Bishop d7, oh, perfect, bishop d7 still works here for the pin. If e5, we can still just take here. b5 still an idea. Oh, <laughs> Um, there's no rush here, too. I can play bishop d8 here. Um, bishop takes now. Okay. Bishop e7, so I can go b5. Perfect. Because I have the rook, I have to create an open file, or else nothing will, uh, happen here. Oh, perfect. Pawn takes, and look at that. This guy right here. Bishop g5. Queen's kind of trapped in here now. Pawn takes. Let's go queen e7 here. I have to be careful because checkmate's still there too. Um, rook over here. Oh, this is a bit scary. Uh-oh, this is a bit scary, yeah. Knight g6 check, so I guess king here. Mm-hmm. I just need to get a pawn push and I'll be okay. Uh-oh, that's a blunder for me. Dear Lord. Man, I'm blundering a lot right now. Okay, so queen c7. Bish queen takes check. It's game over. Ah, oh, no. Oh, they missed it, though. But it doesn't matter my time. Dear Lord. I guess I don't know this Dutch as well as I thought I did. Hmm. All right, let's try for the next game. We ain't giving up so soon. Let's see here. Yeah, I just want a pawn in, in the beginning, and then... Yeah, they held it down very nicely. The whole idea about not trading right away. And even though you're up the exchange, I wasn't able to actually open up a rook on the other side. So that definitely did not help. 
Um, let's go b3 and bishop a3. So b3, bishop a3. This is one of the good attacking bishops, so we're going to try and trade this one off. Last time they did a very interesting idea with b6 and c6, which I really uh, enjoyed there. So bishop a3. Oh, I wonder if they can play knight c3 here. Nope, I guess not. Um, let's go queen c2 here, or e3. Let's go e3. To open up over here is good for me because whole plan for white is to go queen side. So, yeah, good for me. Um, pawn takes, I guess. So now I got this isolated pawn I could try to play against. And then knight c3. Perfect. So pawn take, uh, bishop takes. Knight c3, d5 is really weak. Uh, bishop e6, knight to d4. Double attack. And then also putting a little pressure on d5 here too with the bishop. Yeah, this has gone terribly right for me. And I just won a pawn now, right? Nope, I did not win a pawn just yet. Okay, rook c1. Rook c1. Knight e2, f4. That looks good. We're, we'll reroute the knight to attack the bishop and the pawn over here. And it opens up the c-file too. I'd like to take this pawn, but you have to play this just right. Rook c8, the threatening knight takes. Mm-hmm. Let's go b4. Knight takes d5 is a new threat. Perfect. Knight takes. Knight e7 check. Knight c7 here. Um, hmm. Let's see. Knight e7 check. Let's go bishop takes first. Oh, okay. That didn't work out for them. Bishop takes check. Rook over to c7. And I have rook d1 here too. Rook takes. Rook c5. Oop. Oh, checkmate of one. Bloop. <laughs> Dear Lord, I almost missed that. I almost missed that. Oh, my gosh. Dear Lord. Okay. Let's see here. So let's go with the plan. C6, pawn takes, right? Uh, knight to d7. Oh, um, oh, we get to play e5 here. So this is really nice. The idea is to try and open up this bishop. Pawn e4, even better. You see how we gain some space over here? Remember, the pawn structure points to where we should attack. So if I can get g5, f4, and then I'll be happy. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, 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 I almost missed that myself, dear lord. Ugh. Uh, we have queen e8 here. Queen h5 kind of ideas in the future. And maybe g5 will get played here. I just love this pawn structure so much. g5 and then f f4. And we'll play king h8 here. You see, this pawn structure is really hard to break through. they win on the queen side. That's not a question if. It's just a, a question of when. But the point is for me is that when I win on the queen side, I'm going to be able to, well, checkmate them. <laughs> So I have f4 coming now. Ah, perfect. Pawn takes. Now you see this guy right here. Pin. Okay. So let's go. Oof. What do we play here? Queen g6 doesn't do too much. Actually, let's do queen h5. If they go rook f2, maybe we'll try this knight uh, g4 idea. For a double attack on f2 and over here. Eh, that's actually not too good. Uh, maybe queen here. Yeah, pawn takes over here just in case. Oh, they they started to run. Perfect check, and now they have to go back to g1. So I got a free tempo there. Up, oh, they missed it. See, they didn't have to run like this. I remember this was a problem I had when I was a little bit younger. I'd start running before I had to, and well, once you get them running, you keep them running. Let's see here, pawn takes. Um, yeah, we'll play pawn takes here. I did have queen takes threatening checkmate, but um, I don't know. Didn't feel right. I'll, I'll win on e3, and I don't want to mess up the pawn structure. If I mess this up, they can create counterplay against my king. So if I just play it nice and easy here, um, I should be okay. Um, let's use this knight to threaten here. Knight check. Knight here. Knight check. Oof, poor guy. Yeah, I'm going to have to call it on that one too. <laughs> 
that night just ran amok. Whoop, whoop. Hey, look at that. We're on the first page now. Dear Lord, two losses uh, backed up with two wins. Hopefully, we can keep this momentum going. So B3. And remember, because we're king side attacking, let's trade off this bishop. Um, bishop A3. Perfect. Remember, we're trying to ruin the center. Ruin it. Ruin it. Um, pawn takes here, no? So this looks like a very nice pawn structure. Okay. B4. B5 now. I'm just up an extra pawn. Although, E5 might be a little annoying here. This is a really strong center. When they attack in the wing, you attack in the center, right? That's the saying. Uh, B5 is a good threat here. And I, th yeah, B5 is good. Because now they're going to lose the D4 pawn. Okay. Oof. Maybe not just yet. Uh, because if takes, then they could take on c4. So let's play queen to c2? Let's go queen c2 here. Defends the pawn, and then we'll play rook d1 to put pressure over here. A move I, I, I am worried about here is bishop f6. That's a good move. Uh, uh, eyeing this guy right here. Perfect. They did this move. Rook over to d1. I have knight d2, knight b1 here. They can't go e5 right away. They can't play bishop f6 anymore because the knight's hanging. So I don't see a good way. They're going to lose this d4 pawn. Let's see here. What do we do now? What do we do? Perfect. Pawn takes. I think they're playing on bishop f6, d4. Oh, and look at that. I won the rook. Knight to d2. Perfect timing. Rook takes here. Yes. Everything I want. Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. Let's see here. Rook over here. C5 is an idea. Knight e5 is an idea. Oh, okay. Well, it looks like they weren't paying attention on that one. They just blundered a piece. Um, let's go d5 here. If rook c8, just queen back to b3. Nothing to get crazy about. Mm-hmm. Check. Queen c7. Queen takes on b7. Queen takes d6, uh, d7, of course. Queen takes. And here the new threat, knight takes on e5. Look at that move. Here we have a bishop opened up over here. Um, let's see. What's the threat? Uh, rook b8, right? Rook b8, I have... Queen d5 just guarding everything and threatening knight takes on d uh, knight f7 check, which should be winning. So they'll probably trade off the bishop here. Nope, they don't. Okay. Let's go d7. Oof, knight d7 is a good idea here. Uh, knight f7 won't be any good because king just has g7, and there's plenty of escape squares for him. Knight c6. Rook takes. Mm-hmm. If bishop e7, queen e5 check is going to be winning. Okay, let's go h4, h5. Try to make this a little bit weaker. Yeah, here we're just going to slowly grind them down. Grind. Uh, rook e6. And then uh, one of the benefits is now that we have this extra pass pawn, uh, this extra pass pawn, I could push this guy too. This one would be very easy to push because it's already controlled. Okay, uh, we'll just do that. a4, pawn takes. No need to take and mess up the pawn structure. I have this clear plan right here. Um, I think just rook takes here just wins. And then I make a queen right here on d8. So queen. They can throw a check in if they want to, but that's not going to be enough. Not enough here. Know how to kill the counterplay of your opponents, right? Rook takes. And game over. All right. We're in second place, guys. We're moving up through the ranks. Moving up through the ranks. Okay. Berserk again. Let's go. Um, oop, he Berserk too. Let's do it. Game on. Um, they go first. So I don't know why he's waiting. But okay. So C6. Knight to D7. Remember, we have B6, Bishop, A6 plan. Let's go Knight E4. Always a good move here. Bishop D6. I like the Bishop on this diagonal. Queen here. If they go c5, bishop back. Uh, let's go queen f6. Maybe queen 
uh, H6 coming. Again, it's really hard to do the uh, black side of this. If F3, we have there. Ah, King H8. Pawn takes. So we opened up the bishop for us. That's good. Okay. Knight F6, Knight E5. So now they can play Knight E5 here. Knight G4. Takes. Um, let's just mess up the king side over here. Queen takes. And then knight takes. I could trade off here, but I'm not going to. Knight takes g3 is what I would like to do here. I don't even want to take that guy over there. Bishop c1 is a good move. Queen h5. Okay, g5. Again, not a move I really want to play, but pretty much forced here at this point. Thankfully, this knight's defending the bishop over here. Oh, pawn takes. Okay. This is getting scary and scary and scary. Bishop here. Oh, gosh. No. Let's see. I guess we just take. Only move I could see. Dear Lord, there. Rook takes f4. No, these, these ideas are not working right now. Let's go rook to d8. Queen e7 here. Let's see. Is there any ideas here? Okay, perfect. Rook f6. They were threatening knight to g6 here. Ooh, look at this knight f7 move. Okay, so rook over here. And then rook takes. We'll play bishop takes e5 maybe? Okay, time is the only thing I have going for me. King g8. Okay, c5 here. Pawn takes and bishop takes e5 is one of the ideas. This is kind of working out now. Rook takes f4, just a blunder, I guess. Uh, bishop takes. Queen takes. Dear Lord, it's all falling. It's a house of cards. Rook takes g4. Check. King up. Check again. King up. Rook takes g2 is a threat. And check. Check. Check and then mate. Woohoo! Dear Lord, that worked out. Hey Nishu, how's it going? Thanks for joining again. Today we've got the uh, Stonewall Dutch. I don't know. Does anybody in here play the Stonewall Dutch? It's definitely something I would recommend. Uh, don't get me wrong. At the highest level, I don't think it's the greatest, but I think it's a very easy system to play, and uh, you can get very, very nice attacks with it. And I assume everybody here likes to attack. Oh, this is interesting. I have never seen anyone play it like this before. I'm sure with with uh, with with good reason. Knight b6, maybe they wanted to do, and then we go queen b3, a4, a5. So white goes queen side typically in these ones, and black goes for the king side attack. Already on the first move with f5, black is staking out claim over here. I want to stop this uh, g5 idea if they had one. Um, it's just trying to attack. Uh, here a4, a5 is what I want to play next. Okay, bishop e3, bishop d2. Let's go bishop e5 here. Okay, rook to d1. Knight takes e5. Hmm. Actually, you know what? If bishop takes, we'll take back with the pawn here. It's a nice tempo against the queen. And then d6 will become a weak square that we can put pressure on. So a4, a5. C5 is actually not a bad move here either. Oh, perfect. Pawn takes. This is what we wanted. And one of the ideas of knight h5 is to play f4, but they can't do that anymore because g4 just wins it. Uh, let's go queen a3. End games, because they're going for king side attack, are usually pretty good for white. a5. Knight a4 is the new idea. Got to pin it and then a win it. Unprotected queen definitely helps here. Okay, knight a4. They have to trade here, right? Uh, the question is, should I trade queens here? Yes, trading queens here is actually really good for me. Okay, knight takes. Queen takes. I mean, this could not have gone to a better endgame for me. Look at these terrible pawns right here. Let's penetrate and kill them. No need to drop a pawn if you don't need to. And where does this knight belong? This knight wants to get to d3. You see the c5 target right here. Oh, and I put pressure here on the c6 pawn, so bishop takes here too. 
Rook takes e6. Rook takes there. Knight to d3 is coming. Oh, wow. That's cool. I did not know that. I'm a big uh, fan of uh, of Tori and Unus Grunfield, eh? Knight takes. Look at this. This knight's definitely king of the board right here. Pawn takes. Pawn here. Bishop takes. Oof. Oof. I don't know if it can get worse here for him. Um, so knight takes here I think should be good because they can't go rook e8 or else d7 just gets played. So let's go knight back to c5. d seven's the idea. Um, e3. Ooh, I got to watch out for time here. Rook to d1. Got to watch out for the time. d7. Rook to d6. Rook check here. Bishop takes c6. Yes. And they can win the pawn now, but I should be able to transpose into an endgame that's winning. I believe so. It should be a winning rook and pawn endgame. Oh, this just loses a piece. And then rook e5 here. Oh, ooh, good move. Takes, check, knight back, bishop here, um, knight f4, check, takes. Oof, king here. King. Ooh, this is bad. This is bad. F3, pawn takes. Knight here, knight here. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. This barely works. Dear Lord, I can't believe this happened. Check, and now it's an easy win. Oh, my gosh. The knight move of the century here. Dear Lord. Knight check would have won it, so they, it, it covered the queening square. All right, takes. And now we're just going to win easily here. Boop, boop. I know my checkmates. Boop. Could probably do it with a king and queen, but uh, this is even easier. And here, we don't even have to think about it. Check, and then mates. All right. Woohoo. And with that game, we are now in first, guys. Woohoo. Remember, we win as a team, and we lose by myself. I only lose by myself. But when we, whenever I win, we win. That's how it works around here. All right. And dear Lord, I don't know how it worked, but now um, I'm in clear first. Uh, jumping ahead of mostly everybody else. I guess it, uh, I'm only one. There are only one way to win over here, Jose. And uh, they'll be. Oh, look at this person. This person even went on uh, pause over here. Dear Lord. Everybody, uh, the top four people are all on pause. What's going on here, guys? Why is everybody taking naps? All right. Ooh, 1600. Berserk. <laughs> Let's see. What are they playing here? Remember, C5 is not too good here. Not too good at all. White should try to open up the center, so they, they don't want to play the c5 move. I even have b6 if I really want to, but um, not something I'm going to strive for just yet. Perfect. Queen c7. We'll get e5 in. Awesome. This is good because it opens up the light square bishop. If they don't take, we're going to go e4. Perfect. And now, oh, free pawn. Dear Lord. Queen takes rook. Oh, my gosh. Ooh, be careful. I might get my queen trapped. Oh, thank God. They, they could have played queen b3, and the queen's actually trapped here. So uh, that worked out. Rook f2, queen c4, queen takes. I'm not out of the woods yet. Queen takes b4, and now I'm out of the woods. Queen takes on c5, and there's no way out of here. I mean, th there's, there's plenty of escape routes. I can even go queen back to a5 and queen back to c7 here too. So, yeah, this is good. Uh, bishop takes. I don't know. I think they... Uh, Miss the bishop move diagonal here. Okay. Bishop takes. Queen back to b6. Uh, bishop takes check is now being threatened. Let's go d4. Bishop takes check. Bishop d5 coming up next. Dear lord. When it rains, it pours. Bishop check right here on d5 check does the king oh my gosh the king does go there right all right queen d8 i have c5 here holding everything down um queen e8 bishop e6 um let's go rook to d8 this is probably not the best but uh oh uh let's go knight takes here Okay. Knight e4. Rook f6, h6. 
Yeah, yeah, things got. Uh... <laughs> yes, I know. It's so psych. It's, it's so hard. Like psychologically, no one likes to lose, but losing the first round of like a tournament can be a death sentence, right? Because you're always so pepped up. Oh, I missed checkmate in one here, dear lord. Um, yeah, you're always so pepped up for these first rounds, or just the, the tournament in general. If you can imagine going to a chess tournament, do, does anybody in here play chess tournaments like USCF in person, or, or what countries are we from here? I just assumed everybody was from America, but I don't know. Maybe you guys are from different places. Let's see here. Rook H6. Uh-oh, my opponent left the game. Dang. They got sad. Uh-oh. No, I don't blame them. I wouldn't be happy with this game either. Although the rating difference here is so big that I wouldn't think it'd be that big of a deal. <laughs> All right, 26 points, so we're keeping up ahead. Yes, this Jose, I hope I get to play them next. Um, are they playing our game right now? They are. They're playing a game right now. Looks like most people have actually kind of stopped playing. Dear Lord. Oh, no, no, there's, there's plenty of people playing here. All right, here we go. Berserk, B3, Bishop A3 plan. We want to try and trade off this Bishop. This is probably one of the most uh, popular ways I see most people playing here. Uh, at, least, at, least, at least at the higher level. All right, queen c2, knight c3. Okay, let's take. And then let's go knight d2. Is this the move here? Okay, knight takes. Oh, interesting. e3. Hmm. Yes. One of the main ideas in these lines, oop, they lost a pawn, is to attack on d5. Oh, see you later, man. Good night. Pawn takes, pawn takes. Got a free tempo over here. Let's see here. Uh, you have a free tempo off here and then here. Pawn takes, pawn takes, check maybe. Nope. Um, of course, we'll take this way. We don't take on f4. This will just mess up my pawn structure over here. Rook over to e1. Yes, rook e1. And where does this knight go? Hmm. Knight c4. If they take on d4, then have rook to d1. And then we're going to take on d7. Okay. Go knight to e5. Pawn is it pawn takes here? Um. Hmm. Oh, interesting. All right, pawn takes. Remember, take back toward the center here. Pawn takes. If queen e6, bishop f1, c4 looks pretty deadly. Okay. Rook d1. Rook's on the open file here. Why not? Let's see. Probably pushing the pawn in the future would be a good idea here too. e6. Past pawns must be pushed. Let's go. Um, rook to d7. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Rook takes. Okay. Um. Dear Lord. Queen c4. I really wanted to take on c6 here, but I was trying to calculate if this actually worked or not. I think it would it would now. Bishop takes would be good. Oh, yeah, this is obviously wrong. I have e7 check, and this is just game over here. Uh-oh, spaghetti -o. Okay, bishop back g2. Queen takes on h4. Or just queen f, uh, h4 in general. If I could trade off the rook, it should be an easy win. Okay. Queen e2, h5 pawn, uh, rook over here. They can't take or else bishop d5 will win. 
Bishop d5, bishop back to c4. Okay. Check. Queen f6 looks good. Perfect. Queen takes rook d7. Uh, shoot. Oh, gosh. That did not work. Takes there. Oof. They missed a free win. They missed a free rook. Uh, trade, and then I just have a queen. And this is this is easy enough to just go ahead and checkmate right here. This is our first game. Okay. Takes. And pawn here. You see the bishop covers, and they still can't stop that queen from a coming. Bishop d3. Check. Mate. So cool. I think they had to play the king over, but I even think the king back to h8, which didn't fall for the checkmate in one, it still would have been mate in a, uh, I think, in two moves rather, rather than just one right there. <laughs> Let's see here. Yeah. Dear Lord. Okay, here we go again. Berserk, b3, bishop a3 plan. See what we got today. All right, bishop a3, knight takes over here. Queen e7, knight back to b1, and then knight back to c3. Knight b1, knight c3. Yeah, the knight really doesn't do anything over there, so. And I believe we go knight to d2 in these lines. Okay, pawn takes. Definitely not bad for me. Knight c3. Trades are not bad. And I think I prefer my queen here anyways. So let's go c5. The idea for me is to go knight e5 and then knight to c4 to go to d6. Okay, rook to d1. And this is the plan. And one of the bad things about this, especially for uh, black in these games, is this bishop is just so bad. Uh, knight e5, free tempo, because the knight takes on c6. Okay. Is knight takes e4 just winning a pawn here too? Yeah. Just winning a pawn now. No. Bishop takes. Queen takes. Here I'm going to try the good uh, knight versus bad bishop idea. Okay. Rook c1. Oh, okay. Ooh, okay. Okay. Check. Knight c4, knight to d6 is the plan. Um, check here, I don't think does anything good. Perfect takes. Do I play knight a5 here? Actually, knight e5 looks even better. f4. And then the king's going to come up here on the dark squares. I have check here takes two. Mm, bishop a6 would be a good move here. Do I have check here and then take the pawn? Yeah, this is just going really bad for them. Now I have two pass pawns. Let's see, knight b3 is coming. Knight b3, knight to d4. Mm-hmm. Knight d4. And look at this knight, just king of the board here. Okay, a4. King f2, and I'll run right here. Once my king gets here, it should be game over. All right, king here, g5, doesn't matter. We're going to go e3 either way. And we'll take back with the e-pawn. The knight does a great job just keeping this king out. King here. King here. C6 check maybe is one of the ideas here. Ooh, knight, knight f3, knight e5 check. Knight to d4. King here. King here. Check. Check. Let's see, I have two past pawns here, so... One of them is going to queen, and the knight's guarding over here, so. 
I should be okay. Pawn c6. a6 takes. Oh, knight takes here. a7, and this is going to queen now. Yep, game over. Game over, game over. All right, let's see here. 36 points on 971, dear Lord, here we go. Let's see how they do. Pawn takes, already this is not the best. C6, remember you're not supposed to take here because it just opens up my bishop. Knight E4, pawn takes just in case. I mean, they shouldn't want to trade here. Bishop f6. Interesting place for the knight to go to. Hmm. Queen here. Another interesting move. Just drops a pawn now. Bishop takes. I guess they didn't notice. Um. Dear lord. Bishop h3. So bishop takes rook. Oh gosh. I blundered the piece there. Ooh, dear lord. Okay. Knight over here. Knight f5 is coming up next. Perf oh, bishop takes d4 check. Bishop e5. Knight f5 in the future. Okay, knight f5. Bishop takes. Queen f7. We'll bring the rook in. Maybe rook here, rook here, rook here. I'm just, I, I, I don't even know what to expect from a 900. All right, takes. This is good. They have less pieces on the board, less attackers here, too. Okay, knight f6, knight h5. d4, knight takes if they try to move forward, c5. d3, pass pawns are a pushing. Knight d4, knight e2 check. Okay. Let's go knight c2. Is this just winning a piece then? Forking here and here. Uh, I guess we'll take the rook. Knight b3. And probably queen g6 check if allowed. Knight takes. c4. Guarding. Rook takes. I'll probably check and then takes would have been a little bit better. Okay, h5. Because of the back rank checks, I don't want this to annoy. Queen e6. Oh my gosh, I could have just taken the queen. Dear lord. Okay, king back over here. Yeah, I have to be like checkmating here. Rook takes f4 should just be winning. I assume the bishop should go back to f2. Yeah, definitely not one of my best games here. <laughs> Queen takes here. Rook g4 check now. Perfect, and now it should just be mate. One, two. All right, on to the next one. How much time we got left? 13 minutes. Oop, and we're running through this 41 points. The next one is Jose, but he has since then left the tournament. So it's just DJ at 17 points. Oh, my gosh. Not going too well. Not going too well for these guys. Let's see here. 13 minutes. So I probably should be able to get like these three more games in. All right, Berserk. Here we go. C6, pawn takes. All right, knight to d7. We'll try for the e5 idea again. Most people who play this have been playing e3. So knight e4. Pawn takes. Again, uh, not the best move here. It just opens up the pieces. Let's go pawn takes. Bishop f6. Attacking the d4 pawn. Eh, not really the best here. Let's go uh, queen c7. Queen e7, e3 is the idea now. 
we can go e3 we can mess up this pawn structure queen f7 oh perfect they messed this up pawn takes definitely did not have to do it like that though we'll, uh, the, the, the g3 pawn's weak which is good so bishop there bishop there is the idea bishop f4 would be interesting uh, just, it's interesting to me because I, I really want to sacrifice. It's probably not the best to sacrifice, but uh, definitely might. Okay, bishop c7. And I think they have to play knight e5 here. Okay, h6. Now this is definitely not good for them. Okay. Pawn takes. Oh, maybe I should have taken there. Ah, that's okay. Knight f6. Bishop takes, idea. Pawn takes here is good. Bishop takes. Bishop takes. Um, Let's just go rook f7 here. I don't think there's anything wrong with this, but I'd rather not deal with it. Queen takes, idea. Probably rook e8 coming up next. They actually can't really take right here because queen takes check. So if they do take in check, do I take with the king here? Yeah, I play king takes if they take, because this also allows the rook to come into h8. Very nice tempo here. Okay, knight e4. Queen takes... Uh, yeah, queen takes can happen now. Queen h5 check, rook over to f8's coming. Let's go rook over to f8. Queen h5 check. That bishop takes on g3 here. Dear Lord. Okay. Queen h5. Hmm. Do I have any threats here? Knight takes g5. And here, I don't think they can take because I have queen e2 check there. Yeah, queen e2 check there will win the rook. Yep, and this still wins the rook. Check. And mate. Let's check mate. The knight covers on h3. Good game, good game. All right, on to the next one. 46 points on fire. This chessboard's on fire. All right. So I've got a good 10 minutes left. All right, Berserk. Let's go B3. Getting more and more used to this plan. Uh, bishop A3, trade off this dark square bishop. Queen C2. Knight takes. Mm hmm. Let's see. Bishop takes, knight takes, and knight goes back to b1, anyways. Okay, so bishop takes. Knight to d2. And probably knight takes if they do take. Mm hmm. A good move here would be like e5. e4 is always the thematic move that white wants to play. Knight takes here. And then, oh, perfect. c5 takes. Ah, yeah, c6 here. Maybe that, yeah, that was definitely not best for me. Rook over to d1. Knight d6. I should have just played knight takes there. Knight d6 and rook over to e1. And this, this should be good. I have really good chances here. Hmm. Dear Lord, how am I messing? I mean, I, I I don't think I'm losing, but definitely not playing the most precise here, I think. Bishop takes on h7. Bishop takes on c6. So check. Bishop back, queen e2, queen h5. Ideas for checkmate. So queen e2. Queen e4 is also good here. Let's go bishop takes. Bishop takes. Queen e3. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this should just be a really good end game here. Bishop c4, just rook back. Should just be a winning end game. e4. Oh my gosh, I dro I, they dropped the rook. I didn't even take it, but they resigned. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, that was that was my fault, definitely. 
Oof. Does not seem like the uh, like most people know the uh, main line of this. I think that's definitely one of the fun parts because as a I guess as a chess coach or someone trying to teach this, it definitely helps out because a lot of the basic ideas are just not working for them, right? So, yeah. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's see how. Ooh, I got a master. Let's berserk against them. See which line that they choose. National master, Richie Rich. Uh-oh, they berserked here too. Perfect. Pawn takes. Let's go knight to d7. Knight to e4 against c5. I'm actually pretty surprised they played this. All right, g5. Perfect timing. Um, bishop takes. Bishop f6. Queen takes. Let's see if they add in this move. Uh, bishop takes. Mm-hmm. I guess bishop takes g3 is a move I could play if they play knight takes g5. Let's go bishop takes. And they have bishop takes h2 over here, too. Queen takes on g5 here. f takes should give him a good pawn structure. Okay. Ooh, this has got to be good for me. Gots to be. f4. Here we go. Knight f6, maybe. Okay. Queen f6. Bishop e8, h5 idea. Rook g1, king h8. Okay. They're going to have to give me at least a pawn here. But bishop e8, because uh, bishop... Okay, perfect. Queen takes f4. Okay. Takes, takes. Okay. Rook over here. Okay, takes, bishop e8, okay, check, and then e5, bishop takes, maybe they play knight e6 first here anyways, don't know what that did, pawns being attacked, okay, Okay. Mm hmm. Check. Check. D four. Guarding the pawn. Takes. Bishop back. King over. Check. King over. Okay. Game over. Woohoo! All right. The clock is my friend. <laughs> Dear Lord, I did not know it was supposed to thunder tonight. The thunder rolls and the lightning strikes. There we go. Check. Four minutes left. Uh, demanding lead. Looks like Jose is back. All right, Gustavo, let's go. Okay, oh, you berserk too. C6, C5. Again, basic mistake here. 94. Just takes them too long, even though they go for this. Uh, they need to be able to open up the queen side as soon as possible. They will win the queen side, but at what time cost? That's the problem. Bishop F6, E5 idea. We want to try and open up this bishop as soon as possible. So e5, perfect. Knight takes. Bishop takes. Putting pressure on this knight. Oh. I guess bishop takes a uh, rook is okay. Pawn takes. Bishop c3. Queen e7. Bishop g4 will get played. And we'll go. Okay. So now this pawn's weak. Um, let's see here. Mm-hmm. Queen a7. B5. Bishop d7 here. Oops. Queen takes and everything's guarded. Bishop d7. Queen a2 maybe in the future. Doubling of the rooks makes complete sense to me. 
queen just takes. Queen takes, bishop back, rook over. Okay. Check, that's okay. I feel like I got a lot of time in this game. Okay. Bishop g4, bishop f3. Okay. Rook here, rook here. Oops, I made a mistake. They could have taken. Shoot. Okay. 51 seconds left. King f7, stopping the check. Rook here. Guarding it. Rook c4. Takes. Rook c4. King here. G6. Game over. All right. 28 seconds left. So the pairings are closed. Thank you guys so much for hanging out today. If you haven't already, go ahead and give us that like and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed this. We went over a lot of the basic ideas in the stone wall. As you guys kind of saw, there were some ideas uh, for white, which is basically go queen side. Uh, if you can cheat pawn to e4, then you have really good games. Um, let's see here. Typically, white will... Uh, yeah, just go queen side over there. Again, try not to play pawn c5 there like we saw in a lot of games. And, uh, yeah, oh, there we go, guys. Took first place here with a very nice score. Performance rating was only at 22.38. That's not too bad. Berserk rate at 100% and a win rate of 87 with two losses. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed.